Leg room. And welcome to another episode. Episode 7 to Hanoi. 20 minutes delayed. But what can you do? Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Vietnam, we've officially arrived. <laughs> Emma's being a pest. <laughs> Fingers crossed, the immigration process goes smoothly. <laughs> First one's through. Easy peasy. <laughs> Literally through immigration in about five minutes under that. I did run there. Learned a couple of phrases from the immigration man. Kamun, Tambien, Sin Chao, and forgot on the other one. And now to pick up our bags. Numero uno. Thank you very much. Customs, nothing to declare. Ooh, it's so plasticky. Finally managed to find someone that would exchange kip for dong. just been dropped off by our grab at the top of our street because it was a one-way street so now we're we're walking the streets of Hanoi hoping <laughs> that we end up at our Airbnb right we found the entrance okay. first instruction this is the main entrance go along the lane till the end this is for you John watch what Emma's gonna do <laughs> Onwards. Oh no, the game wasn't locked. Carry on. It's looking promising. Yeah. And this is our Airbnb for the next three nights in Hanoi. got a nice chill out spot with a sofa, table and a big old TV. Table, kitchen area with a good sized fridge and freezer and microwave. And this is the toilet area. And then we go up these steps to our bedroom. And this is the bedroom. Pretty cool. I think it worked out to be 53 pounds for both of us. So it works out to be about seven pound 90 a night, which is not too bad at all. I think we're just gonna try and get a good night's sleep and wake up fairly early tomorrow to start exploring Hanoi. Yeah, look at this little 
We've got a little shrine outside our room. Which is pretty cool. Off to find some brunch. Yeah. The crossing's an absolute carnage. Right, it was a green man, but no one seems to uh, abide by any traffic laws here. So I think it's definitely a no to uh, renting out a moped here. No, not. Really? <laughs> After this taxi. Absolute carnage. Well, we think we're quite close to the brunch spot. We're at a place called. What's this called? Lifted. We've got a, a view out onto the hectic streets of Hanoi. Lovely brunch. Now on a bit of a walking tour, we found a, a blog online that has put together a walking tour, and we're now going to attempt to follow it. There are so many of these silverware shops. <laughs> We're now coming up to Ho Hon Kiem Lake, which is one of the main attractions in Hanoi and our third or fourth stop on our walking tour. The others have been quaint little streets, like shopping streets and market streets. What's the next stop? We could go along Bam Bam Bam. To where? Bakmar. Temple, we could go. Or just go that way then. Exploring the streets still. We're on a street called... What's the street called? Lanong. Now we've gone down another metal road. Do you want to buy some metal? No. Metal? Made our first purchase of Hanoi. Anna, you'll hate me for it. Made our first purchase of Hanoi. Anna, you'll hate me for it. So I'm not going to show you what we bought what I bought. You'll just have to hope that I inadvertently put it in a clip or a picture. Practical, practical reasons. Yeah, practical. I think we're going to search for some egg coffee. Yeah. And we found it. Egg hot chocolate, egg coffee. Thank you. I like that best there. Tastes like um custard, which I guess is what it is. Right, a bit of an egg coffee review. We got an egg coffee and a coconut coffee. The egg coffee tastes like what does it taste like? You're just drinking custard. Custard, custard and coffee. Custard with a little bit of coffee in, which is lovely. I much prefer the coconut coffee, got it iced. Very refreshing. We're sitting here coming up with inspirational quotes to put on these notes. More of you, oh I know you. Ems is over there. I'm not going to show you mine, mine's private. <laughs> if you want to figure out what I've written, come to the note coffee, sit by the window and look to your right. Lovely. Now to go and get some sandwiches for lunch. 
This is a place called Ban Mi 25 that supposedly do very nice sandwiches. It's a remix of a. Uh... This is a, a Ban Mi taste test. <laughs> it's a proper baguette though. Yeah. I mean, so far. About a 10? Mm, can't even taste much at the moment. <laughs> probably I'm doing chili. Yeah? Very nice bread. Yeah, it's good. We're now gonna go and find Emma some silk pajamas. <laughs> Emma's looking for a, a set of pajamas because here apparently you can get 100% silk for quite cheap. Look, they've got blue ones or green. They're quite cute, aren't they? Yeah. And how much? 550. 5.50. Second purchase in Hanoi. Some silk pajamas for 500 dong, which is 15, 16 pounds. Oh, yeah. it's called Train Road. Back at HQ after a long day walking. We have been on our feet for about six hours intermittently, but now I'm gonna chill at our Airbnb before we take on the night market this eve. A lot nicer than last night. Very pretty. That was a lovely banchata for supper. First experience for both myself and Emma. What did you think of it? It was good. Very good. You get your noodles separate and then all the seasonings separate and then you get your soup bowl with like pork meatballs in a sauce and then you add your salad and seasoning and all the noodles yourself. It's there you go. And it's like a sweet, cooking lessons from Emma. A sweet and soury kind of taste. <laughs> nice. Wasn't it? Thanks for that. Okay. Yeah it was. And now we're just gonna have a poodle as one does when in Hanoi in the evening. Emma's at it again. Looking for a cashmere scarf now. <laughs> Hi. And the lights are on. Cup of coffee, and we're en route to uh, the Ho Chi Minh mausoleum. We're going to pretty much walk around a dead body. Uh, Ho Chi Minh's body has been embalmed and preserved since he died in the mid 60s and is lying in the mausoleum for people to, to look at. Uh, it's only open from 8 till 11 on certain weekdays, so it's 
20 to 9 now we thought we'd get up a little bit earlier and see if we could get in we've heard that the queues are quite long um, but we'll see and you're not allowed to bring in cameras so we'll report back, we'll report back to you after we've potentially seen a dead body what is it this one? <laughs> I don't want to be disrespectful but I think it was quite interesting to go see a dead body so oh, yeah, it looked like that was very interesting it didn't look real it looked um he looked a bit waxy and a bit crusty. That's probably quite disrespectful, but... No, it's not. I thought you looked like when you were dead, couldn't it? <laughs> He's a very lovely looking man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's literally a room and he's lying in... In the middle. A uh, coffin dark. looking yeah. bar, box. I can't really see him. With lights on, with four soldiers at either corner of the box. And he's lying there with his eyes closed and you walk you walk round and get ushered along by the various different soldiers in the room. And then you walk out. And then you walk out. It must have lasted about a minute tops. Yeah, fifteen seconds. And that's the building he's in. Excuse me. Another day, another lake. This lake being what's the name? Tai Quen, Tai Kwa, Tai Ku. Tai Ku. Tai Ku. Make of that what you wish. Got some cockfighting going on. We're now on our way to the Ho Lo Prison. Memorial. <laughs> Stop. That was a very interesting tour of Hualo Museum. Hualo Prison, sorry. If you're going to go, we definitely recommend you to spend an extra 50,000 dong each to get one of the headsets to do an audio tour. Yeah, it would have been boring without it. It tells you like little stories about people who were there. You walk through the remains of the prison, um, as you saw. Cells. Cells. Death row cells. Death row cells. You saw the guillotine. <laughs> We've now stopped at a random cafe to have some lunch because I'm dying. seriously flagging. He's getting hangry at beepers. Yes, getting very annoyed at the unnecessary horns that go off constantly on the roads. To a shopping centre. We're at Lot or Lottie, which is supposedly 65 floors tall, full of shops. Not just shops, there's a hotel and flats. One of those buildings that has everything you need in one place. But because it's 65 floors and there's a, a terrace at the top, like a lookout point, we thought, why not spend our evening looking around? and maybe do some shopping. Oh, All right, he's going to pop.
Oh, this is very cool. strange. Dad, you would absolutely hate this. Absolutely hate it. And Uncle Aaron. And Jane. So this was 230,000 dong each, which is seven pounds each. So if you're going to come here, definitely recommend paying 230,000 to come up here. Yeah, you can eat, have coffee, and everything in between. Emma's found a new day job. Well, can't have a jump to the back to ever. And we're back down. And now to go and find some food, most importantly. We have no clue how expensive any of these places are going to be. Yep, that's a no from us. Nothing tickled our fancy. Now off to f hopefully find some Vietnamese food. We're literally just in a Vietnamese Selfridges looking for some supper. We've come to a place called 37th Street, which looks quite fancy. And this is our first experience of trying pho. Oh. Pho. Pho? Pho? For, for. I don't know if it's the most authentic. No, we're not on an authentic side street. It's like being in the subject. But food still food. It's all we've got. First still fur. Like oh. It's very thick. It's gloopy. Nice food, but they charge you to use a napkin. Lovely food. But we got charged a thousand dong per napkin we used and we weren't told that there was a charge on the napkin. <laughs> we hid two, well we stored away two for future use in my bag. But then she was like, oh where are they? Anna wants to see you back. And then, so I had bun, what did I have? Bun, no, bumbo nambo. Bumbo nambo. And Emma had a pho, and then I had a pho to start. The bum bo nambo was the pho. It tastes like ramen. It wasn't anything. It wasn't anything too special. Now we're going to another shopping centre because that's what we do with our evenings. This is shopping centre evening. But, um, I want to find some pudding. Some pudding. Emma's a happy gal now. She stopped complaining because she knows we're going to get pudding. What have we got? Strawberry cheesecake, cookies and cream, with Oreos, blueberry cheesecake and mango strawberry. Ice cream demolished. Now time to head back to our flat. We'll catch you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Stopped in the middle of the junction. Oh, thank you. Come on, come on. Absolute craziness. We now need to try and find our way to our hotel that we're staying in for a night. Just come. Oh. Right, we've checked into our hotel and booked a two night, three day cruise, as you do. A five, of, star luxury cruise. a five star luxury cruise because when in Vietnam you have to do those kind of things and also for five star it's actually quite cheap yeah 
So we've booked three days, two nights. Starting tomorrow morning, we get picked up from our hotel and get driven to, what's the bay called? It's not Halong. Halong, city. Okay, we get driven to Halong, but we're not going from Halong Bay. We're going from another bay because apparently Halong Bay is, has been ruined by all the tourists that go there. So that will be fun. And now we're just looking for some food because it's 10 to 1 and we haven't really eaten. We've eaten Oreos. We've eaten Oreos Coke and breakfast. cups of tea. There are three floors of this place. Absolutely crazy. Right, we've, we've sat down for a drink after just about managing to stay alive in that indoor market. Very overwhelming, very busy, very sweaty. So we've sat down at a very busy junction. Having a drink. Yeah. It's called Kaffa Cafe. Kaffa. I'm going to try and get a cool time lapse of this very busy junction. evening from the rooftops of central Hanoi having a night out having a night out night out with the with the lads got a gin brandy and we've got a Singapore sling and I've got a beer Saigon and we're just watching the world go past we we're actually surprisingly dry so we the rain. this is our last evening in Hanoi and you as I mentioned wait. earlier are you yeah. tell them where we're going oh. so, it could have been like a surprise that was Stay tuned to see where we're going next. I should be in charge of this. I get your. We're going to embark on our two night, three day cruise tomorrow morning. We're going to have these drinks, go and get some Bumbo Nambo, Again. and then try and buy some clothes for Emma. Clothes? Items. I want some Various different items. Closely replicated the famous design scarf. Oh, and some sort of bag so I can take it all home again. Hi. <laughs> all that bumbo nambo. No. She's at it again. Third purchase of the evening as well. And again, <laughs> she cannot be tamed. <laughs> Shopping spree done. Now we're walking back to our hotel to get a good night's sleep before our adventure tomorrow. This will be it for our Hanoi adventure. And we'll see you in the next episode, which starts tomorrow. So see you then.